Hey there, I'm Heidi Lee and we're Into the Soup. My guest chef today is the incomparable chef ah. Eddie Matney. Hey everybody, how are Eddie's you? Eddie's house, how it's are nice you? To see you. I'm Thanks so for glad having you're here. here. What here. are we gonna make? You know what? It's it's just that time of year that we want to do something with pork. You know, we've gone through that hot summer, so we want to do something with pork. And one of my favorite things is pork tenderloin. I love pork tenderloin. That's what's down here, and you're going to be schmutzing it all up. I'm going to okay? schmutz it. You're going to schmutz it all do up. Do I need to heat this up you a do. little yeah, bit? Why don't you okay. Put it on to get a little more heat on there. For heat. Oh boy, perfect. <laughs> I like get that for heat. For heat. There's a little olive oil. Okay. Now you have to schmutz it up. Do I have to like rub it? With you the have oil? to rub it up. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be rubbing it up. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's right. oh Look man. out! It's getting oh, hot in the kitchen. Exactly. Okay. So, you know what? Let me do this for you. Why don't you do that okay. for me? I'm going to pop off and wash my hands. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit of brown sugar on this, and I'm going to put some crushed red chilies. And I know y'all out there saying, crushed red chilies, why are we using crushed red chilies? And that's because we have some brown sugar, and we have some uh, sweetness on there, so we're going to add those chilies and everything else. Now, I'm going to ask you to get your hands dirty again. Okay. Rub, me, okay. Get, rub that all in there. Good. Oh. Rub that all Gee, in there. Gee, I good. wasted my time on uh, camera. No, no, no. What You're going to have to do it again. Here you go. We're going to put a little more olive oil. The brown sugar is going to caramelize, and of course, it's going to be nice and sweet. But you want something to counteract that. And when you swallow, the thing, your last tickle in your little throat that makes you go, oh, I want something else. Yeah, oh, I want something else. And that's what that's going to do. Okay. okay so now Am I done schmutzing? Yeah, you're done schmutzing. You want to do your hands again, and, and, and we'll, uh, I have the olive oil in there. Now, we're doing this in the pan. You can do this on the grill if you want to, but I would prefer doing it in the pan. And remember that brown sugar is going to caramelize really, really fast. So you're going to keep, continue to turn it, and then we're going to finish it in the oven. So here, let me do this since you've already schmutzed twice. Okay, and then you can okay. schmutz yeah. next. There or we could have used the tongs. You can do yeah, that too. Yeah, you can use the tongs. Now, that's perfect. We're going to let that brown nicely. And the biggest thing when you're doing something on the, on the stove like this is not to turn it too fast. You let it do its thing, right? You let it do okay. its thing because if you turn it too fast, you're not going to sear it. What you're trying to do is sear it, and then we're going to slowly cook it in the oven, okay? Now, I'm going to take the onions and, and just saute these in here. I turned up the fire a little bit because we got to add, you always want to start with onions. Okay, we're going to take the onions and throw those in there. I'm going to take a little bit of garlic. That's nice. And we're going to sweat it. Yeah, and you know what? Those are things that you want to start out with all the time, onions and garlic and olive oil. And I have to tell you, it's just the perfect smell. I you know. know, onions and garlic. We have the pork going there. Let me see if that pork is ready. Yeah. You ready? That's oh, look good. at that. Look at how gorgeous that oh, came out. Oh, beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? You see that nice brownness over there? And it's the chilies? It is perfect. Okay, so we're going to let that cook for a little bit. I'm going to add some of the beets in here. And when you're ready... Do you want I me think, to do it go now? Yeah, well, go ahead okay. now. Because, you know, now listen, I, if we, you see how that's bubbling nicely and yes, hot? We're going to take that hot. hot pan, you're going to go right in the oven with it. Okay. So that's perfect. Let's go take that to the oven. Okay, go ahead. You can take that in the I oven. I can take that to the oven. Right. Hot pan, hot people. Pan. Always remember. Right. Go right in that oven with that. That's perfect. Now, what I'm, is our oven at, Chef? 425. 425. Oh, we're roasted, yeah. 425 in the <laughs> oven. <laughs> <laughs> we're going we're gonna to take those beets and put them in there. And you know what? There's a natural sugar in these, Heidi. Yes. Okay? So we're gonna let those caramelize just a little bit more, but you see how the wonderful colors just come together. It's absolutely it gorgeous. It is beautiful, isn't it? And now we're gonna have to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper mm -hmm. into this. And then I'm gonna add something else. A lot of people don't use this. This is kale. It looks like the stuff at the produce store that highlights everything from right, underneath. Right, but it's very, I mean, it's great for you. That's a really it's, good healthy one. It is a very healthy. We're going to take this in here. The thing of it is, is the, top, the leaf is kind of chewy. So you have to braise it down, cook it down a little bit. We're going to set it in here. We, you can use spinach if you want to. You can use arugula. But this is a very much That's a fall cool. dish. And the one thing about this too, Heidi, this is inexpensive. Kale. Oh, yeah, kale is so inexpensive at the store. You know, lettuce nowadays is like a buck fifty a head. You know, arugula is expensive. I mean, it's just ridiculous how expensive things have gotten. This is a great dish, a nice fall dish. And we're going to just add a little bit of chicken stock Yum. or beef stock or whatever. And we're going to let that cook down. And what that's going to do is, as the liquid reduces, it'll braise that kale just a little bit more. Now, remember, so we have sweet and sort of savory here. Because you have the same on your pork. We have the pork, but we have a little bit of chili taste on there, Love too. Love that chili. And, and over here, slowly cooking down, this right here, mm -hmm. those are chili onions. Chili jalapeno onions. Jalapeno onions, so they got a little bit of sweetness to them, so we're going to top the pork with it. But we're going to be done in just a few minutes. we got to wait for that pork to cook. Okay, so are we ready to pull that pork? We are. That, I'm, I'm going to move this over here. Am I going to do more stuff? You have to do I more stuff. I love doing Turn the stuff. fire on that. All righty. Just get it going. I can I'm going to grab that. the pork. 
The pork is absolutely perfect now. Oh, man. Of course it is. There you go. Careful. Look at that. I know. I'm getting away. Look at how gorgeous that is. Isn't I'll just that drink nice the cut? juice on the bottom. I know. It'll be perfect. <laughs> now, now, the thing when you cook meat is you want to let it rest. Because so why? We, Tell people. This because they know. Because it's going to continue to cook all the, uh, continue to cook evenly. All the juices will stay into the meat instead of being bled all over, and it's a perfect way to cook the meat, and also it tenderizes a little bit more. Oh, it does? Once, yeah, when it rests like that. Because oh. meat is a muscle, so when it tenses up like that, you want to let it rest, rest a little bit. I'm gonna move this over here. Okay, Okay. what would you like me to do, Sean? I want to add, a little, bit, down add a little bit of thime into there. Time, so don't waste it. Time, don't, right. <laughs> here you go, this is perfect for you. Oh, beautiful. Okay, and we tasted it. See how, can you smell that time Oh, now? it's beautiful. It's it one of my favorite herbs. Here. It is really a wonderful thing. Now you're gonna take it and put it right down the middle of this plate right here. Just all this lovely little yummy yeah. and orangey you know what? red goodness. Yeah, we were talking before about fall vegetables. Oh, about I love About the fact them. that there's beets and turnips and parsnips. It's all just around the corners, but look how beautiful that is. <laughs> and it smells so good. You oh. see what that thyme did to it? I'm so see anxious to have a it? bite of this. That is nice. Okay, we're gonna take the pork, mm -hmm. I'm gonna set it here, but this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna feather it down, just like this. Move that down. Look at how gorgeous that came out, huh? This is so easy, too. It is so easy. Now wait. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> Onion, jalapeno <laughs> onions, just over the top of it, just a little bit. This is over, over the top. Isn't that great? Now onions, sweet onions, now I'm just gonna put a little bit of, maybe this is a little bit of micro cilantro. Micro top. cilantro? Yeah, That's now look at that, one. look at that. Ugh. Is that not the most perfect little That's pork dish beautiful. for fall? You With beets, rock. everything else. I can't wait to dive into this. Thing. I know, I'm going, why did you put that so oh, you far okay. away here from you go, me? Here you go, I'm gonna bring it back to you. Okay, okay. so we got a fork for you. Okay, fork for me too. Okay, do you want me to cut a little piece of I that? think that would be good because I usually take a big bite and everybody thinks I look really bad doing okay. that. So. I, I don't think you could look bad doing anything. Oh, okay. isn't he there's, nice? There's a little beet, there's a little onion for you. Okay. Right there, go a ahead, beet. a little beet. I'm gonna take this right here. Okay, right. Oh man. That really <laughs> good. Oh, oh. oh, it melts. The onions and everything else. Oh is my good. god. You know what it is? It's a celebration in mm. your mouth. That's what it is. Whoa! Big celebration. Big celebration uh -huh. in your mouth. This is I awesome. love cooking with you. I love you too. This is awesome. You're Thank awesome, you my friend. Much. Thank you I very much. I appreciate it. And um, we're Allstate Appliance showroom and mcdade showroom in the scottsdale air park right is this a gorgeous kitchen i gotta tell you something it's the best kitchen thank you for letting us use it it's oh it's perfect. my pleasure you can come back and play with me anytime really if you're up here i'll play anytime <laughs> <laughs> i'm heidi lee you're into the soup we'll see you next week Bye bye